What lies behind the smile of this seven-year-old girl is the kind of courage seen in those well beyond her young years. That's what Larry Wilkins thought when Sailor Gutzler showed up on his front porch late Friday night and told him an incredible story. She said, my, my mom and dad are dead. Uh, we just had, we had a plane crash. Gutzler and her family took off from Key West, Florida early Friday on board her father, who was piloting the twin-engine aircraft, along with her mother, her nine-year-old sister, and 14-year-old cousin. The plane ran into trouble and crashed in a wooded area in Kentucky. Sailor was the only survivor. How was she able to survive the crash and then endure hiking three-quarters of a mile through dark, cold woods without shoes or warm clothes? Still unknown. The little girl was, she was amazingly composed for a seven-year-old girl. Her story of survival is rare, but there are others documented in the CNN film Soul Survivor. In 1987, Cecilia Shashan was just four years old when she was the sole survivor of Northwest Airlines Flight 255. 154 people were killed when the airline crashed on takeoff in Detroit, including her entire family. Decades later, she still has scars and something more. I got this tattoo as a reminder of where I've come from. Shashan credits luck for her survival. Austin Hatch believes a higher power may have helped him. I think God had his, had his hand on me, and I'm a thing, I think there's a plan for, the, for my life. In 2003, when Hatch was just eight years old, the small plane his father was piloting crashed, killing his mother and siblings. Hatch and his father survived. Then tragically, eight years later in 2011, Hatch was in another crash. This time, his father, again the pilot, was killed, as was his stepmother. Hatch was the only survivor. His brain injury so bad he had to relearn to walk and even talk. Now, just a few years after the second crash, he's on a basketball scholarship at the University of Michigan and scored his first career points last month. Basketball has sort of has, has gave me gave me something to shoot for, um, and it's been my goal. Um, you know, it's from when I woke up in the coma. What they all have in common is not just a shared tragedy, but a will to survive. Jason Carroll, CNN, New York.